Hey guys, welcome back. So as you probably saw in the video description or the thumbnail, that this video is about the new feature of project labels in Easel. And before I get into that, I just wanna show you guys how to sign up for it. Currently, the labels only applies to Easel Pro accounts, and you also have to be a beta tester. So to opt into beta testing, you can select projects and open, and you're brought up to this projects panel. And if you select the tab that says options here, you'll be able to opt into this beta testing. And once you're in beta testing, you'll have a few features that aren't totally available to everybody. However, some of the features you still have to opt into. So this project labels feature is one of those. So I'll go ahead and link this page at the description of this video, and you'll have to opt into the feature. And you can see here that you're agreeing to provide feedback in the form of short survey or other means, in which case you go ahead and enable the feature here. And they're kind of just asking you to come back and put any feedback in here if you encounter any issues or it just works and you love the feature, you can leave your feedback for that here as well. So here I've got a, uh, a project for some names. In this one, to apply the labels, I'll go up here and select the name and it brings up the project properties. And here you can see I've got no labels applied to this project yet. You can go ahead and click manage labels. And here you've got the labels that I've created so far and I can add a new one to the list. I've already added name signs and that's what I'm gonna use here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add another one to this list and we'll call that holiday. Uh, I got a few other ones I need to add to that holiday category. So go ahead and add that one and press enter and it gets added to the list right here. So this is just where you would add new labels and potentially delete them out of here if you wanted to delete them as well. So let's go ahead back to the project and here I'm gonna go ahead and select an existing label this name signs for this one. And when I click close, it will save it to this project. And now I've got a check mark here. It's saying all changes are saved. So if I click this again, it will show that it's now in the category of name signs. Now, why does that matter? If I go up here to projects now and open, or you can press control O, you'll come into this where you see all my projects and there's, there's a lot of them. So it becomes a little bit cumbersome to scroll through all those. So I'll go ahead and apply labels to the ones that are mine and that I use all the time. And that's what I've done right here. So I could do a search here and type in something like flag and it'll find all the ones that I've actually labeled flag, but that might include like this, I think Oregon Ducks. I'm not even sure what logo this is. And this one over here, the Norse Corp. These aren't actually my flags. These are the ones that somebody shared with me. I'm never actually gonna use those. Instead, I've applied the filter to the ones that I want to use. So here you can see the ones that I actually use the most. I need to apply this label to a few other ones, but for now, this is what I've got. If I did want to narrow this down, if I had a lot more in this category, then I could add another filter to it of USMC. Let's add that one. And here you've got, I have the USMC and flags and it filtered it down to just the ones that contain both of those. Now I could delete the flags now and I get everything that I had flagged for USMC, which includes some of these nameplates that I do as well. So that's really what you would use the labels for. It's really an, a method of filtering your projects instead of relying on the name of the project alone. So there's also some more information about this under the help menu. If you select the orange dots that are here, it will take you to the newest updates. Now here we've got that same information that was on the landing page before about how to set up project labels. They've kind of prepared this for a full release. Once they're done with this opt-in inversion in the beta test, they've got this help menu already laid out. So if you ever see that orange dot there, make sure to navigate in here and see what the new update is. So go ahead and let me know in the comments below whether or not you think you'd use this project labels feature. And since you're probably interested in CNC projects and tutorials, make sure you hit the subscribe button because that's all we do on this channel and you're not gonna wanna miss out on our future videos. Thanks again for joining me today and make sure you check out this video next.